When it comes to understanding God, we seem to have trouble keeping it in balance. Like one guy clings to traits that are similar to his personality, while another guy sees God completely opposite. All the while, God is actually a God of balance. He is both meek and strong, merciful and judgmental, tender and harsh, gracious and bold. Not surprisingly, one of the most misunderstood things about God is whether to approach him as king or friend. The Bible makes it clear that he is the king of kings, but Jesus also calls us his friends. Psalm 211 tells us to serve the Lord with reverent fear and to rejoice with trembling, two seemingly opposite ideas. Ecclesiastes reminds us that there is a time for everything, a time for weeping, for dancing, a time to be still, and a time to speak up. But most people seem satisfied to approach God however they feel instead of how he requires. The real key is to relate to God in all his fullness, because otherwise we set ourselves up to worship a God that we've created. So if you're the type of person that finds it easy to lean on God's grace and to come boldly before his throne, it may be time to restore the fear of God to your life and to your worship, remembering that God is King and Lord and that he can strike us down if he chooses, remembering that this is both Old and New Testament theology. But if you spent your whole life trembling before God and seeing him as an impersonal, unapproachable, faraway being, you may want to ask him to help you understand him as the intimate friend and daddy that he 